Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's second video, we're doing the extended EC European Outlook for today's second video. So this is your regular Tuesday 30 day European Outlook, we will have a look at weeks 5 and 6 data as well, and uh, I shall get on that for you in a moment, first extended European Outlook of the year of course. Uh, so just say that the first video release, video release today was our 6am UK world forecast. And uh, we've also got a tent of 14 there with all of the regular features coming up for you later on today as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. Thank you so much ECMWF.int for supplying the charts too. Thank you so much EC. Okay, we're going to start off then with the week one mean cell pressure anomaly for this week. It's the 1st of the 8th of January and we've got high pressure blocking. Uh, from Iceland through to Scandinavia and Nordic regions. Low pressure is underneath it from the Atlantic into much of Europe. In the week of that high pressure of Scandinavia will be pulling in colder air into extreme north of Europe, while the low pressure to the south of it will actually keep most parts of Europe looking relatively mild, I would have thought. This is the 500 millibar high tonight from the Arctic of the North Pole view down. Again, taking us from the 1st to the 8th of January. We're blocking around Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure is underneath that, and winds again coming in from a north feasty direction, the far north of Europe. So this have a temperature on it. It's looking very, very cold. Which come across the far door, so into Scandinavia and the Nordic regions, as well as northwest of Russia. Bitterly, bitterly cold there. And if I put on the temperature scale, you can actually see we're talking about 10 degrees or more below average. That includes sort of uh, northern parts of Sweden and uh, Norway, as well as most of Finland and into the northwest of Russia, and also down into the uh, Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia. And if when you're very, very cold there, the cold just about getting into Denmark and also becoming a bit cooler into Scotland and Ireland, but anywhere further south than that, looking above average, actually a very mild week to come across many eastern and southeastern parts of Europe from the Adriatic towards the Black Sea, through the Balkans, for example, into Romania. See temperature anomalies there, uh, sort of six to ten degrees above average in those very deep red shaded colours. But widely across most parts of Europe, all the way from France, Spain, Portugal, and West, right way over to the Black Sea in the East, it is largely above average this week. Precipitation wise, we see where the high pressure is going to be blocking up here in the very far north and northeast of Europe. That's where it's drier and normal. Also, a little bit on the drier side in towards the Greek Isles, but otherwise wetter than average um, from England and Wales and France to Spain, Portugal, all the way over to the Black Sea and also as far south of Russia. Particularly wet through France, uh, through France, the low country, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, and into Germany as well. Particularly wet through there. Um, oh, by the way, Mediterranean also looking, we forgot about the Med, can't do that, can we? Mediterranean also looking pretty wet in the week ahead, and temperatures in the bed largely above average, so warm and wet down across the far south of Europe. Right, week two will be the 8th to the 15th of January. Oh, wow, high pressure really strengthening there in the North Atlantic, going up towards Greenland and Iceland. Winds could again be drawn in from a cold northeasterly direction, therefore. Across many northern parts of Europe, low pressure is being pushed southwards with a jet stream into southern southwestern parts of Europe. That is a very strong blocking area of high pressure, I have to say, centering close to Iceland. The 500 millibar heights look like that, a big blocking area of high pressure again around uh, Iceland and also into Greenland. Low pressure is to the south of it and also to the east of it. Winds again coming in from a cold or a very cold northeast direction, potentially across the northern parts of Europe. So temperature not only show cold expanding out. In fact, many parts of Europe becoming substantially colder than average here. Um, we've got to go down to southern parts of uh, Spain, into North Africa, and also towards Greece and Turkey to find above our temperature lines. But most places are solidly colder than average. It was like a very cold week, I have to say, the second week of January. The core of the cold is in the far north and northeast again where the model has us around 6 to 10 degrees below average. But, I mean, widely, um, we're seeing, like, uh, France and into low countries and into uh, Germany, Poland, uh, example, actually Ukraine as well, sort of 3 to 6 degrees below average. And even in the far northwest, so around the UK, Ireland, we're, like, 1 to 3 degrees, or in 
few places, three, six, three below average. So that is a very cold, which a widespread, continent-wide cold there. Um, as we going into second week of January, goodness gracious me, I think we better get winter waters ready to you. Um, as far as precipitation is concerned, well, it looks very dry, of course, with colder air, it holds less moisture than uh, mild air, warm air, so uh, we, we expect it to go dry on average. So we see dry on average uh, precipitation on us here across much of northern western Europe, where it is coldest, and in central Europe as well. Where it's cold, it also looks pretty dry. Uh, however, there will be precipitation around. It won't be completely dry, and that will be particularly focused like on the east coast of England and Scotland, next to the North Sea, and uh, around the Baltic Sea coast as well. And any precipitation is likely falling as snow, I would have thought, if the temperature normally is that much below average. Now, further southwards, it's a wetter scene across southern Europe, so France, uh, so uh, Spain, Portugal, I should say, into the central bowl of Med and over towards Greece and Turkey, that's where the uh, wet weather is, and that's where the jet stream will be as well, that blocking of, uh, of high pressure will be forcing the jet stream down into the southern part of Europe, taking the rain-bearing areas of low pressure down there with it. Right, week three will be the 15th to 22nd of January, so we still have a blocking signal, but begin to reduce uh, rather significantly there, but still some high pressure around Greenland and Iceland, Low pressure is in the Atlantic, close to the Azores, and there's some low pressure in the far east and northeast of Europe as well. The 500 millibar heights look like that. So you still have a blocking signal around Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure, trough of low across northern parts of the Europe. So you think that like northern Europe anyway, it's probably still going to be quite cold. Winds coming in from the north or a northeasterly direction. The temperature anomaly stays cold across much of northern Europe anyway. So um Scandinavian Nordic regions again looking cold. And coming southwards into the low countries, anyway anywhere east of the low countries basically from Germany back to the Black Sea. Most areas are cold average. And the cold begins to shift down in towards the Balkans as well and some southeastern parts of Europe. But at the same time the temperature anomaly lifts up a little bit out to the west. So the UK, Ireland, France returning close to average. But you have to go down to Spain and Portugal again, find above average temperatures through there and into the central bowl of the Meds and what above average temperatures anomalies through there as well. And the week three 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that with a lower pressure coming in from off the Atlantic into Western Europe, so France, Spain, Portugal. Um, so that's where the wetter weather is likely to be. Drier up here around Scandinavia, so higher pressure signals still through there. Overlooking a little bit more in south, I have to say, and as where's the transition going on, perhaps from uh, the, the cold weather, something a little bit less cold, obviously there would be an increasing risk of some uh, snow across many parts of the continent with that precipitation. But far south and southeast of Europe could be looking a little bit on the drier side. Week four, be the 22nd to 29th of January. So it looks like a large area of high pressure taking over. And that's a very strange looking anomaly, isn't it? The high sort of centre boat back into West Russia in that it's some sort of ridge that's building out of Russia, maybe the Siberian high making an appearance there. It does look quite a strange anomaly though. Uh, 500 millibar heights also showing, <laughs> showing high pressure just, just, you know, Dominating. I don't know, that looks very strange, doesn't it? I don't know what to make of that one. As far as temperatures are concerned, they are beginning to lift up a little bit for western parts of Europe again, so becoming a bit milder into the west of Europe, still looking quite cold in the north and northeast. It is a weakening signal given how far out we're going. Right, that's your 30 day look head done. Let's just go to weeks five and six data before we go. So, week five will be the 29th of January to the 5th of February. So, high pressure signals again in the North Atlantic around Greenland and Iceland, blocking signals, strengthening there maybe. As uh, we're going into the fifth week, the 500 millibar heights again looking quite blocked in the North Atlantic. Temperature anomaly is cold and average through the far north of Europe, a little bit mild and average out west. And um, precipitation anomalies, well, you see where blocking is again in the North Atlantic and into the far north of Europe. And then finally, week six will be the fifth to the 12th, or my jail will be the sixth to the 12th of February. Still, we've got a strong blocking signal around Iceland and Greenland. The 500 millibar height still looking quite blocked to the North Atlantic. The temperature anomaly looking cold through the far north and northeast Europe in particular. And there's precipitation anomaly again, see where the blocking is. So, all in all, quite a strong blocking signal, I have to say. 
for uh, the next six weeks across much of Europe. Looks like winter could be about to uh, start getting going. We shall see about that. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what Molly shows. So any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings and large pinches of salt attached to it. Um, and, uh, and we'll see what it's showing with this one again on Saturday, actually, with a UK Iron Focus. So, we'll do the next Excel European Outlook next Tuesday. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And we thank you so much for doing that. We will be back later on with the 10 to 14 day, so come back for that. Then, for this week's 30 day European Outlook, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.